On the next episode of Hoarders, we have this packed car. I guess you don't want to give nobody a ride, sir. I mean, you have everything. How did you manage to get a whole couch inside of a Honda Accord? How? How, man? Where are you going with all this stuff? It's time for you to unload, brother. You need to take that stuff, get you some money, take that down to the Goodwill, take it down to, to the, the, the later day saints office or something, but you can't have all this stuff in your car. I can look at this car and I can tell this car got mice in the car. It obviously has mice in the car and it stank. It, it obviously stinks in this car because this is one little seat open for you as you've collected everything. I don't even know how you get to the gas station with this thing. Like, and, and from what I'm hearing, this car is still driving. You're still driving with everything on this car. It's time to, to re relieve this, sir. It's time to let it go because it's just, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. You're going to be driving down the highway. Something going to fall off. Like maybe that lawnmower you got on top. Now, if you're living in the car, I don't know why you need a lawnmower. I, maybe that's your hustle, though. I'm not going to knock it. Maybe that's your hustle. Or you like to just cut grass wherever you park. You pull that out, cut grass, blow leaves, or do whatever you do. But this is a, a nuisance to the highways. This is a nuisance to society. And you driving down the street and just stuff is blowing off this car. It's just small articles getting in the way, hitting people. Come on, man. Come on. This is not what the car is intended for. They didn't build this Honda Accord for it to carry 2,000 pounds of trash. No. No. The car already looks abandoned, but you still keep driving it. And I guess you go pick up groceries and random things and random items. And you, you continue to circulate in this vehicle, compounding and compounding the problem more and more and more. But stop this. Stop this. I would hate for you to drive to your house. I don't want to know what the house looked like. If the car looked like this, I can't imagine the house. The house must be busting at the seams. The roof must be like torn off with stuff sticking out of the roof. And you can't even see in the windows because there are objects just sticking out of the windows, overcrowded. And the whole house is packed. And the only thing living in there is you and a cat. And when people come over, they can't even see you till your head pop up out of all this trash. You got to let it go. Sometimes you got to say, this is enough. I can't do this anymore. You, I can't keep free breezing this one little seat and sitting in it and driving around with all this stuff, man. Eric Badu said, bag lady, you going to break your back dragging all them bags like that. And you about to break your back dragging all this junk around. Let it go, man. Let it go and call me, brother.